what a chaotic morning hello guys i hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel i have pulled up at ikea you can see with the blue just like haloing my car right now um the iconic ikea blue i actually have come to the second one of today because the first one that i went to as i pulled up everyone was stood outside and there were security guards people not allowing cars in apparently they'd just had to evacuate the building and they were going to be shut for at least an hour so i thought right i'll drive on to the next one which was a further sort of 35 minutes away so that's fun and this is the warrington store the other one was ashton um which is actually the one that i usually go to so maybe it's a sign that we're switching things up a bit and going to a brand new one i have actually been to this one before a long time ago i thought i would bring you guys with me show you what's new in we've got a load of people in the garden currently today um tom's at the house and they're basically just not landscape we're not fully doing our garden at this stage but we're just emptying a lot of it out and also my parents are due to come over this weekend so i thought i'll keep my eyes peeled for any kind of garden furniture so we can sit outside if weather permitting it's nice i don't know whether to go nice nice like there's a set that i love on ikea that is spenny but i love it or do i just go budget option for now to then potentially in the future upgrade to a nicer set we'll see who knows i might not even end up coming out with anything but browse around ikea is always good for getting your step count up if, if nothing else so anyway make sure you're set and ready with a drink snacks and let's go shopping Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. My hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, na na. I don't.
ring these chairs are so heavy i ended up um picking those up because they're in the sale from 80 down to 40 and they're outdoor furniture and i figured i could just pop like a little beige cushion on or something or even a throw over it and they actually look quite nice so we'll keep them for future like somewhere in the garden i think they'll look really nice tom has called saying there's been big progress on the garden so i'll keep that within a renovation vlog and Whew. In the meantime, I need to open up all these windows and go via McDonald's because I've seen this little craze that people are doing whereby they're getting a vanilla milkshake, which I always get anyway, especially in this heat, it's gonna be lovely, and a shot of espresso and mixing it together to make a kind of vanilla-y coffee frappuccino style drink. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna treat myself and reward myself for having a successful trip head back and then show you what I picked up and I swear to god now that I'm a dog owner I can't leave without a big <laughs> fluffy toy his dog's getting a bit scraggly and the lion that I bought him in the past he started biting off all the mane and so I just threw it because he was I didn't want him to eat it whereas this hasn't got any excess fur on and he's got a big enough bum to uh for Barney to hump <laughs> Hi there, can I have a vanilla milkshake please? Um, one shot of espresso, one cheeseburger, small fries please. That's it, thank you. It's tight in this car, I've just realised I've not even eaten yet and it's already nearly three o'clock and I've only had toast for breakfast so I'm going to grab myself, well I have ordered myself, a burger and fries as well. What a treat! Thank you. Thanks a lot. Could have ordered a double but I'm kind of avoiding decaf at the minute and they don't do decaf de decaf avoiding caffeine here goes in fact I feel like I need to drink a bit of this it makes it so much easier to drink without a straw oh no I've lost my straw oh it's in my lap <laughs> okay this is what it looks like it actually looks yum I feel like I'm really gonna like this Oh yeah, could definitely get a double shot. Still really good though. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh, I've got a bit of extra coffee in that bit. Recommend you try it. I've just had the cutest delivery. It's from a girl on Instagram who has kindly sent me stuff in the past. She's called By Chelsea KK. I think I'll leave her Instagram handle. But she does some adorable bits like Etsy kind of labeled up products that you can buy all sorts of things and she sent this jar which i don't know if you can see that it says on the front barney's treats and also two bowls which has barney on it as well and a little paw print and it's kind of like in that ray dunn inspired font so so generous thank you so so much for them they are adorable <sighs> right Let's have a look at what we've got. I've not brought the big chairs in to um, the living room, obviously. They're still in the car, actually. I need Tom's help to get them out. But, I mean, I suppose I managed to get them in myself, so I could probably get them out myself. But with his helping hand, I hope he'll help. Also, my arm's aching from the vaccine that I had the other day. Isn't it that, like, reminiscent feeling of being back in school, having vaccines when your arm just aches so much that's me at the minute oh but um yeah so it's a challenge to get in so anyway i'll just share with you what i picked up obviously you saw in the car this cute little guy we need to name him i feel like he's just a dumbo isn't he dumbo i feel like can i sit on the sofa be a bit more comfy the receipt is pretty big the summer sale has started so they had quite a few sale items reduced i think up until the end of august so if you did want to check anything out or any of these items that i show you that were in the sale then 
just keep your eyes peeled for the mint stores now or online. So the chairs I got eight pounds down to forty pounds, absolute bargain. There was another style that I was going to go for at forty five pounds full price. That was kind of a plasticky, designer inspired chair that looked cool, and I sat on it. It was very comfy. But when I saw these ones from eighty down to forty, so even cheap, I thought actually yeah, and I'm going to get four of them rather than the other one. I was just going to get two of because if I do have people round, obviously we can have a picnic blanket and sit out but the majority of time it's probably no more than ever four people in the garden at least for now anyway and then oh this is a good find this was only one pound and it's this beautiful fluted vase you know how i love that kind of ribbed glassware this is so perfect for just a single stem of eucalyptus maybe some uh, little bunny tails or something i love the shape of it yeah one pound and they had loads of them as well these were also in the sale these bags i actually used to carry bits in with were down from 150 down to a pound and i actually really have a few of these um i tend to pick one up every time to be honest they're really handy and i like the fact that they're beige and cream as opposed to the ikea blue ones then they also had these bags reduced down to 50p each which i thought was a mega steal so i actually picked up three of them and it's just like a little linen-y canvas tote very simple plain no design or anything great to have in the back of your car for shopping bags so yeah i did pick up three of these they're from the treblad range then i got two of these lidded storage boxes which will be great in a future office for paperwork but in the meantime i thought even just for storing things like receipts in or bits for the house like invoices and stuff that we're spending on the house in and obviously there's two of them i got two different sizes they did have a larger one at three pounds this one was two pound fifty this one was one pound fifty i got this which is actually an ice pack i thought that would be really handy just to have in our freezer for when we do venture out and about if we take a little picnic with us or anything and want a cooler bag to pop this in it's just very simple one pound 75 i got another set of three of these dish cloth uh, scrubby things they are 75p for the pack of three i also got this dish cloth for 75p and it's like a dark gray but it's got a kind of more abrasive side to it where it's a bit more hard heavy duty you know for pots and pans and things and also in turn i thought this would be quite handy to wipe down the surfaces with some anti-back or like degreaser and to really get any sort of stubborn stains with that i got two of these little storage baskets which are from the per pingler range they have a larger one which full price is three pounds i have actually got that in our downstairs low at the moment um but that was reduced down to two pounds and then these were reduced from i think from two down to one pound no 50p these reduced to we also go through tea towels pretty quickly so i picked up two more of these ones these ones are the sort of budget ones at 50p i think they have them with a little red stripe as well but i went for the blue um and they're just quite thin almost linen-y feel tea towels and i feel like these are a similar ones similar kind of material to the linen union ones or the white company glass cloth ones you know like that kind of a texture i got some muesli for £1.95 they had a few different flavors of granola and muesli i went for the coca flavored one with berries in there as well oh and it's got coconut in there little bits of coconut as well yum that's good like on top of yogurt i find more so than as cereal then these were three and four pounds and i got these for our kitchen drawers they're basically just baking utensils so we've got the dough cutter or bowl scraper however you kind of want to see it um, but it's in a really pretty like beige color as are these the handles are that same kind of beige fabric and the fabric color and these are like a scraper or icer tool so yeah i thought i would pick both of those up and apparently the lady on the till said that these are really hard to find and they've just got them in stock and she said that she had one but wanted to get some more so who knows if she's just saying that but made me feel good about finding those i'd seen this online on the online sale at only a pound and it's one of these sort of hanging baskets in the kind of hessian kind of jute texture 
texture and I just think these look really good on the back of a door as you're running out to have a load of stuff that you need in your mask your poo bags and leads if you've got a dog as well or like even to store other kind of carrier bags in for if you are going out and about shopping to maybe pop these canvas bags in you could maybe roll them up and put them inside and at only a pound in the sale I had to pick one of those up now these were two pounds and one pound and these are ice cube trays mold trays which i use these actually to freeze treats for barney especially in the hot weather he loves a frozen treat so i have poor print shaped ones and bone shaped ones which are good for like peanut butter banana frozen treats but i thought i would get this fish one to maybe put more savory treats in like pumpkin frozen pumpkin he loves so yeah, for a pound I picked that one up and then also I picked up these again. Another recipe that I've seen online is these kind of frozen treats for dogs where you can fill that up again with something like peanut butter and banana and then you water it down to be able to pour it in. And then rather than put these um, green lollipop sticks back in, you could put like a really long kind of dog bone treat to have the entire thing be edible for the dog. Or obviously you could use these for yourself, maybe put some like lemonade in or something yummy and refreshing to make your own ice lollies. But yeah, I actually bought these for Barney's treats. I got three of these bowls, which are from the, what range is this? It doesn't say on the back. It's basically a set of uh, crockery, essentially, that is made from like a really heavy duty material, which makes them ideal for outdoor dining. It's not plasticky though. I thought that it was gonna feel more like my Poundland ones, but actually these feel pretty good. They feel much more heavy duty than my plasticky melamine ones from Poundland, which I do love. So I did actually just opt for three bowls and I thought these would be good kind of serving bowls to just pop nibbles and crisps and bits in to host with if we are posting outside anytime soon. So 50p each, these ones were, and they had the full kind of pasta bowls, plates, all at 50p each. These are reduced, the obligatory dime purchase, which obviously can't be missed when you get to the checkout. You grab one of these. I feel like if you don't grab these when you go to Ikea, either these or the meatballs. If I'm not having the meatballs, I'm getting these. If I've got these, Maybe I don't have the meatballs like today, I didn't. Um, but the restaurant is back open now. So I think it, there was some kind of order system and I just thought, well, I was by myself. I just thought, no, I'll just scrap that for now and just stick with my dime. I also got some of the ground coffee that they do for our filter coffee machine. £3.95 these ones are. They do different uh, varieties. This one is the dark roast. I also got this bottle, which was £2, the glass water bottle with a little stopper on the top. And I got this for Tom more than anything because when he works from home, he brings the big jug out of the fridge, the what's it called, Brita filter. And I'm like, no, I want my water chilled. And he's like, well, I just need a jug of water so that I'm constantly drinking us. So pick this one up for him. This isn't what I thought it was, I don't think. To me, this is a measuring jug. However, and probably most people watching this will agree that that's stupid thinking, I don't know. Because on the receipt, it's a fat separator. Oh, this is another bag that I found in the clearance section at only a pound. I just thought it'd be really handy to have. It's almost like a large, like again, you could put the ice pack in this and have it as like a cooler bag for taking a load of picnic stuff or something. Um, but just a really handy sized storage bag with a little fold over lid as well. And handles, yeah, handles as well. Cleaning gloves, there we go. One pound from the Rinnig range. They had pink and they also had green. So I went for the green option. I thought a nice pop of sage green in the kitchen. And that's everything I got. So I hope you enjoyed this a little come to Ikea shopping trip with me. Let me know if you want more Ikea hauls like this in future. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.